Welcome everybody to this episode of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Dutchko. The goal of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast is to give you the story of the ninth grade students here at Emmaus High School and beyond through the people who live it daily, the students and the staff. We will attempt to touch on the real issues and stories that ninth grade students face in order to prepare them to know that ninth grade counts. And today we have an an interesting episode to share with you all. During the course of the fall semester, I had a student uh, pre-service teacher uh, shadowing me from Cedar Crest College. Her name is Kayla Canning, and we're going to have her on today to give her impression of what it's like as somebody that's learning to become a teacher, preparing to work with ninth grade students, looking back on her own ninth grade student experience, and then kind of seeing how that has influenced her decision to want to be a teacher and how it might impact her uh, as she decides what she decides to do with her career and and, uh, which level she's going to teach. So hopefully you find that to be an interesting conversation uh, of somebody that was experienced with ninth grade students and uh, getting to know about teaching them. So we have a couple shout outs here to kind of say, first off is uh, thanks to the East Penn Education Foundation. Uh, In the end of November, the ninth grade experience was awarded a grant to purchase some new video equipment for the podcast. So hopefully you will be seeing our video quality increase in the new year. Uh, So thanks to the East Penn Education Foundation, they also gave the initial grant for the equipment to start the podcast. So they've been there since the since, since the beginning. So we thank the East Penn Education Foundation for their generous support of the podcast and for supporting uh, different projects throughout the school district as well. So that's one big thanks to them. Uh, also, uh, thanks to all of you. Uh, we are almost to the goal of reaching 5,000 total views on YouTube. Uh, maybe with this episode, we'll push it over the top. So we appreciate how uh, the YouTube has caught on with uh, students and staff and people in the community. makes it easier to experience the podcast. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we're still trying to build that subscriber number up. Go to the Ninth Grade Experience on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and watch the video. Uh, hope to get over 5,000 views. Uh, we're coming close to 10,000 and total views and listens to the podcast since it started. So it's really exciting to, to reach such a big number. So we appreciate all the people that have listened over the course of the podcast as well. So uh, we're going into the holiday season. At the end of this episode, you'll see a commercial that we produced for ETV asking students to participate in our next uh, challenge, our next uh, getting, getting out there uh, to give their uh, New Year's resolution. So we're looking forward to see what you're going to improve upon in the new year. So it's listen all the way to the end of the episode to see how you can participate in that next week here at the high school and uh, in the world if you're listening electronically or anywhere where you're at. So you can always go to ninthgradeexperience.com for all the past episodes and to take a look at the audio, to take a look at the video, you can leave a comment, you can leave us a voicemail message that we can always play on the show as well too. So thanks a lot for joining us and here is Kayla Canning talking about her ninth grade pre-service teaching experience. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ninth Grade Experience Podcast. We're here with a, a, a first for me this past uh, fall. Uh, I never had a student teacher or student observer before, so I was a little nervous to take one on, not knowing what you're going to get and how to interact. But uh, this person had such a great experience with us here at Emmaus High School that I wanted to invite her on, and she was more than welcome to come on and talk about her experiences. So we're going to chat today with Kayla Canning, who is going to be a senior at Cedar Crest College in the spring of 2022 here, uh, and she is going for her secondary her degree in secondary education and English. And uh, of course, she was with a science teacher here for the for her student teaching observation. So lots of great stories here. And she's going to reflect on her ninth grade experience and teaching ninth graders, not only here, but at another school as well. So Kayla, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. So it was gr- it was great to get to know Kayla here. She brought a lot of energy and excitement. It's like, you know, the young teacher just learning how to do it. She was always so energetic when she came in, even when we met early uh, in the morning on uh, the days where she came in. She came in Monday mornings too. So, you know, that early morning Monday excitement, which uh, not a lot of people bring, but Kayla always did. So Kayla, we're going to ask you the first question that we always ask our, all of our new guests. So this is your own personal ninth grade experience. Um, you don't have to identify the year, but we know that you're in college still. So you're not that far removed from ninth grade, 
But um, if you want to talk about where you were in ninth grade and kind of what you experienced in your ninth grade year uh, to kind of lead us all, lead us off here. I actually went to Whitehall High School, so pretty local. Um, I was more of a loner. I didn't really have a lot of friends. I had a small group of friends. Um, I had to pick myself up from not doing very well in middle school. My grades weren't that great. And everyone says, you know, high school counts. But I put a lot of pressure on myself as a freshman, I think as everyone does. And I made freshman year the hardest for myself. And then I felt like every year after that was very nice and easy. What was it about your freshman year? What did you do to yourself when you said you made it very hard on yourself? What were some things that maybe you did looking back on it now, pursuing a career in education? Um, what were some of the things that maybe you did that you could tell yourself now, maybe that wasn't the best of ideas? And if you're watching the, and I was going to say, and if you were watching the video, you just saw Kayla's cat come in, but That's now it went away. That's my cat, Callie. She's 10, so she's old. Mm. Um, my freshman year of high school was my first year without my IEP plan, actually. I went in my last uh, semester of middle school, and I told them that I didn't think that I needed it anymore. I thought I was catching up. And my first year in high school, my freshman year, they asked me and I said, I didn't think I needed it. I was meeting scores. I was reaching my levels. So they didn't help me as much with it because I said I didn't need it. So I think not having that help and just being thrown into it on my own accord was really scary. And I put a lot of pressure on it for that. And I was trying to meet standards that even teachers didn't have, only I had. I wanted to be reading at a 10th grade level as a freshman, even though that wasn't needed. Yeah. So it's interesting, like, again, and we're, we're hearing this a lot with uh, students right now too. And I think you might've heard it during our time together of the pressures that students are putting on themselves, like during for their academics and especially coming back from what was going on the last 18 months. Was there anything that you remember from that time period of why you felt like that you needed to do that and kind of looking back on it now, kind of entering this, this the teaching career, like would you have suggestions for ninth grade students that maybe are feel, that maybe felt the same way that you did during that ninth grade year? Um, I think the biggest thing is while freshman year does count, you're allowed to struggle and you're allowed to ask for help even after you denied it. Nobody's ever going to look at you and say, well, you said you didn't need help, so I'm not helping. If you go and you say, hey, I know I said it, but I need help now, they're going to help you. You need it, it's fine, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think that I wasn't okay with asking because I didn't think that it would be okay. And that's, a, that's such a great message to send to our ninth grade students is that, you know, the okay to ask for help, like, you know, a lot of students right now are just struggling with the concept of asking for help or even wanting to ask for help. And I, I like that you said, like you even talked about, you had the IEP in place when you went into high school, you didn't feel that you needed it. You saw that you were struggling and then maybe you didn't feel comfortable once again, like asking for that help. But I think that's one of those things that, you know, looking back several years removed from that experience that like, you can be like, well, probably would have made my life a lot easier during that freshman year to ask for help. So I like that you're kind of encouraging ninth graders to be able to ask for help and to kind of do that. Was there anything else from that ninth grade experience or ninth grade year that was there, was there something during that year that maybe influenced you to want to become a teacher? Was there something in that time frame or like maybe that desire to kind of help students overcome those same things that you did? Was there any of that during that time that made you want to pursue a teaching career? I actually had it in middle school. I had gotten into a little bit of trouble. I wasn't the best student in middle school. And when I got to high school, I thought the reputation would kind of follow me. I thought, you know, my teachers wouldn't like me. They wouldn't be nice to me. I thought because of my brother, they wouldn't be nice to me. And my teachers were so kind. They were so sweet. They were so understanding of everything I was going through. And even when they didn't understand, they told me like, it's not my place to understand. It's just my job to be there for you as your teacher. And I realized that I wanted to be that for someone else. Even if I'm not doing it for everyone, it's good to help small groups, even if it's not everyone. So, yeah, so that's really, 
you know, talking about like getting to the heart of why you wanted to be a teacher and those kinds of things. It's just really interesting. You know, we talk all the time on this podcast about that ninth grade experience and, and maybe you had it in middle school, but at the same time, there's always that like one spark that kind of drives people towards a career in education or something that they're passionate about. So uh, you spent, uh, I believe it was uh, 30 or 40 hours here at Emmaus High School observing. So you were in a ninth grade science class, which is, you know, not necessarily in your comfort zone in your major area. Um, so what was your ninth grade experience teaching like here at Emmaus High School? I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know a lot about science, so I thought that was going to be really scary, but it was so nice to kind of see the concepts that everyone was learning. Everyone was really understanding that I didn't really know the concepts I was teaching, so the students were okay with me having to say like I'll get back to you on an answer I'll be right back none of them gave me an issue with that nobody gave me a hard time it was really good and the teachers were so helpful I got so many questions answered yeah it's really interesting like you know you're you're a new teacher you're learning how to do this you're going into a classroom where you're not in your your specialty area um, and you're thrown in and you, you were able to observe classes with you know 25 kids um many of them having some of the same challenges that maybe you had um, as a learner and kind of, you know, identifying those things too. Was there something that you took away from the particular experience that like maybe might influence the way that you're going to teach or the way that you think about maybe working with a particular group of students that allowed you to kind of be like, all right, well, I see that maybe I might have to try this or do that. Um, I realized that I don't need to react to everything a student does. So if a student's sitting on their phone, I don't need to just react and tell them like, get off your phone, pay attention to me. They are paying attention sometimes too. Like sometimes you just need to wait and see if a student will correct themselves. I don't need to be on their back. They know what they need to do. It's my job to guide them. Yeah. It's, a, you know, we're all kind of coming through that now. It's a, that's an interesting lesson to learn as a pre-service teacher that maybe you don't have to be the, the master and commander of the room. And, you know, when you got a chance to observe us here at Emmaus, like, you know, we don't necessarily, the people that you observe weren't necessarily the, uh, the master and commander types. So it might be, it would be interesting to hear if you were in a different room, maybe that's a different perspective, but you know, it's, it's all the things that you could have learned and experienced. Um, so is, is ninth grade an area that you would like to teach? It is. I like seeing how, um, how big issues are for you guys. Like the TikTok thing, the idea that like TikTok might not be here or that you might not be able to use your phone in, in the school to record a TikTok or something. That's such a big deal. And students were so angry, but I get that. Like, it's nice to see the issues for freshmen and I, I loved it. It was so great. So you did another student observation at, at Whitehall um, where you were working with ninth grade students. Uh, was that, what, what year was that or what semester was that when you were doing that? It was right before COVID going into the pandemic starting. So that would have been like right after like January, the January, February -ish. Of, of 2020. So um, it's always, I always like to compare like ninth grade students uh, across different places. So in your experience, you had some uh, exposure there at Whitehall High School working with students in ninth grade. Did you notice a big difference? Now, obviously the pandemic created a whole new set of challenges, but did you notice a big difference between ninth grade students at Whitehall and ninth grade students in Emmaus High School? I don't think so. I think high school students are just kind of high school students all over. So is there one common theme that maybe like as you move forward in your education career that you can take from your experience, your ninth grade experiences at the two schools and maybe how it might apply to your teaching, teaching career or teaching or things that you want to do? Um, I try to tell myself that from what I've learned with freshmen, you're really, really growing. And this is the biggest part, like from freshman year to 10th grade, there's two totally different people. And you need to understand that because while they're going through the year, it's very frustrating. They might get tired. They might get lazy. They might not want to do stuff anymore, but to see who they are, even at the beginning of freshman year to the end is such a difference. It's, it's amazing. 
Yeah. And you had the chance to see them at the beginning of the semester. And then uh, you were done right before Thanksgiving. So you had a chance to see them, you know, right when they're coming in, right when they're getting acclimated to being in school. So, yeah, so you didn't have a chance to see them all the way through. I guess we'll have to give you a report at the end of the year to see if, uh, see who you remember and see where you are. So yes, why don't please. you just, so if you have somebody listening, maybe somebody from your college or somebody that maybe is a pre-service teacher that's listening. So why don't you explain to people what you, what's next for you? So you have a, you, you know, you're entering your senior year. What do you still have to do to finish up? At Cedar Crest College, you do a field experience every semester, basically. So I have a chance to be in the classroom every semester until I graduate. So I have two this semester in two different schools. I don't know where yet, but hopefully it's the same type of thing where high school, middle schools. Um, I have to finish getting my English degree and I have to take the test to become a teacher. So you have a pretty full last year here. Um, so you, what, what part is technically the student teaching part? Is that, would that be like next uh, fall, next spring? When would that be? It would be next spring. It's in fall of, it's in spring of 23. So okay. my graduating semester is the only semester that I'll be completely student teaching. I have no other classes. So if you are a school district that's listening to this and you're, you're circling that uh, spring of 2023 hiring, you know, we have Kayla here who will be you know, lots of great experiences, lots of great English experience and, and just teaching experience. And she's had the ninth grade experience. So if you need somebody there, so that's our shameless plug to get, to get Kaylee a job here. And if uh, hopefully, you know, people want to learn more about the Cedar Crest college uh, program, we'll put a link to that in the show notes as well, too. Uh, is there something that you want to leave everyone with Kayla, like an experience or a tip or kind of like just, you know, you've had a lot of experiences. We talked a lot when you were here about all the different things that you've gone through with your education. You talked a lot about your ninth grade experience um, and the teaching experience, but you know, why is it and through what you saw, I assume you still want to be a teacher. You made it this far, That's right? You. So if you're, you know, let's, let's answer the interview question for everybody here. So I'll ask you the interview question. Why do you want to be a teacher? And let's we'll link this your last question. So if you're listening and maybe the answer will change in the spring of 2023, but here's, here's your first chance at an interview question. So what is it about teaching that makes you want to be a teacher, Kayla? Um, I want to help the future generations. I want them to know that there is someone out there. There are teachers out there, people out there that genuinely care about you. I don't care if you don't like English or if you don't like the class I'm teaching you in. I just want you as a person to be okay. I want you to get through and make it to adulthood. That's It's better out of high school, I promise. It's not as hard as you think. All right. So if you're listening to any future employer of Kayla or you, you know, you look her up one day on Google and you want to find out more about her because they do that kind of stuff, you know, hopefully you've listened all the way to the end here and you got some good insight into the person that you hopefully will be hiring. So Kayla, thanks a lot for joining us here today. Thanks a lot for everything you brought to the classes here at Emmaus High School. You know, if you have a chance to come back, we'd love to have you. I don't know if they place you in the same spot again. <laughs> But uh, hopefully you have a chance to go uh, have some more experiences. But it was great having you. And it made me want to apply again to be to bring in another student observer. So hopefully oh, you're going to be a you're going to be a tough one to match up with or, or meet the expectation. So we'll have to say we'll have to compare notes at the end. But good luck to uh, you in the spring and, and moving forward. And, you know, if there's ever anything you need, you know, you can always reach out to us here at the ninth grade experience. Thank you guys so much again. This was a great experience. And to anyone who has Mr. Stuchko as a teacher or as their experience mentor, he's amazing. It was great. I recommend. This was the best experience. Thank you. Hey, Mays High School. It's Mr. Stuchko again, host of the Ninth Grade Experience podcast. I wanted to say thank you for everybody that participated in November's Attitude of Gratitude podcast. We had over 50 people respond and tell us things they were thankful for about Emmaus High School. And we had over 200 views on YouTube. So that was a great episode. A lot of people uh, said really nice things about it. It was a nice way to go into the holiday break. So today I'm coming back to ask you again to uh, help and contribute to the podcast. So we're coming up to the holiday season and the start of a new year. So we're going to ask everyone what their New Year's resolution is going to be. It could be something you want to improve on in school, outside of school. It could be a whole thought. It could be one word. That's pretty popular these days to pick a new word for the new year, uh, something you're going to focus on. So you have lots of different options on how to participate with the podcast. 
you can go to ninthgradeexperience.com, click on the little microphone in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and then you can leave a voicemail. That's one way. Another way is be on the lookout if you're in the class of 25 or class of 24 Schoology pages. We'll have a message board that you can post to, and then uh, we'll read them on the air if you don't want to come on and read your own. Uh, the last thing is we'll be uh, going around the school. Uh, I had my phone and my microphone going around and interviewing random kids. So I'll be around during lunches. Uh, you can always stop by first block to room 223 all of this week coming up here, December 13th through the 17th. Uh, we're hoping to have this episode out right before the holiday break. So you can over break, think about your New Year's resolutions and, and all those things again. So if you need any information on the podcast, go to ninthgradeexperience.com. And I look forward to hearing all of your resolutions and hearing what you're going to improve upon in the new year. And JJ, I'm looking at you because I need to hear your New Year's resolution. 